In the last five years or so, the Rhode Island Natural History Survey, in our programs and activities, has given increased prominence to people who use alternative media to communicate important information about Rhode Island's animals, plants, and natural communities. With the annual art exhibit and open house and the Rhode Island Nature Video Festival. This year, the Rhode Island Natural History Survey continues to expand its perspective along these lines with our new Expeditions to Rhode Island YouTube video series. Also, we responded to a request for nominations for an award recognizing individuals who have excelled in wildlife conservation and embraced the use of art and technology in this pursuit. Nominees who have demonstrated a passion for mentoring and sharing their knowledge were particularly sought. Our nomination was prepared by myself, Dr. Ted Grand of the National Zoological Park in Washington, DC, Dr. Scott Derrickson, of the Smithsonian Conservation Bio Biology Institute, SCBI, in Front Royal, Virginia, and survey board member, Dr. Peter August from the University of Rhode Island. The sponsor of the award wishes to remain anonymous. As are our recent efforts to increase knowledge and engagement through visual arts, the themes this award strives to celebrate are front and center consistent with the mission uh, and history of the Natural History Survey, we put together a very strong nomination and have learned that our candidate was chosen. It is therefore my pleasure to present the Excellence in Wildlife Conservation Technology and Art Award to Dr. Kristen Wemmer. You may know Dr. Wemmer by his blog posting name, Camera Trap Codger. His, bi his biographical tagline reads, believes nature is infinitely more interesting than shopping malls, born a hundred years too late. Dr. Wemmer was the director of the Smithsonian Institution's Conservation and Research Center, now SCBI, in Front Royal, Virginia. He also served as the director of the National Zoological Park in Washington, DC. He has a distinguished record of, science, of scientific research in wildlife biology and conservation, performing landmark studies of tigers in Nepal endangered elephants in Asia, forest carnivores in Indonesia, and hoofed animals in America. Upon retirement from the Smithsonian Institution, Dr. Wemmer moved to Megalia, California in the Sierra Nevadas uh, near Chico. He is Emeritus Scientist of the Smithsonian National Zoological Park and an Honorary Fellow of the California Academy of Sciences. In retirement, Dr. Wemmer has dedicated himself to filming wildlife using game cameras. He publishes his stories, photos, and video clips on his blog site called The Camera Trap Codger. Chris's photos and videos are exceptional. He uses an array of commercial cameras and his own hacked together homebrew systems. Dr. Wemmer's photographs stand apart from others because of his deep knowledge of the natural history of the animals he is filming. His sets, camera light motion triggers are not only expertly placed to capture the animals he is photographing, as you would expect from someone with his depth of experience, they beautifully capture critical elements of animal behavior and habitats. There are many analytical challenges to using game cameras to census wildlife populations, as the staff of the survey's own Narragansett Bay Coyote study can attest. Dr. Wemmer is passionate about his photography and is passionate about sharing his knowledge with students and peers. He, method he methodically describes his camera trapping techniques on his blog site, where he also responds to questions and has taught a camera trapping field course for many years. Chris is the go-to guy for guidance on how to design sampling protocols that yield scientifically credible data. And his work mixes beautiful art with rigorous science. As aspiring nature YouTubers ourselves and co-sponsors of the Rhode Island Nature Video Festival, the Rhode Island Natural History Survey is pleased to honor Dr. Kristen Wemmer's many contributions to using photography and technology to advance the goals of wildlife conservation and for sharing his knowledge with his peers and students. Hello, Rhode Island Natural History Survey. This is Chris Wemmer also known as the Camera Trap Codger, broadcasting to you today 
from Tom's Trail at the edge of Butte Creek Canyon in Megalia, California. I am here today to thank you for the survey's 2020 award for wildlife conservation technology and art. It's a tremendous honor and it took me by complete surprise. I'm also pleased to help in kicking off the Rhode Island Nature Video Festival. You deserve to be very proud of this unique and fun event. I have to confess that the survey's certified letter made me uneasy. It wasn't written by a lawyer, but it sure sounded suspicious. Here's what it said. Dear Dr. Wimmer, I realize that almost every letter that begins with, Congratulations! You have won! is a scam of some sort. Well, it continued that the sponsor, who wishes to remain anonymous, changes the award theme every year, but that this year's theme matched yours truly like a glove. There was a two-page nomination document written by the survey's executive director, Dr. David Gregg, and signed by three other distinguished naturalists. It took a week for the award to finally sink in, but it's a wonderful validation that my obsession with camera trapping, making movies, and blogging has helped others appreciate nature. And it's also proven to me that almost anyone can record really fascinating aspects of animal behavior using just camera traps. And if you become a little bit preoccupied with it, all the better. The good thing is the prize is an incentive for me to finish up a 15 chapter book called A Camera Trapper's Companion. I've been working on it far too long agonizing over it, but it's all but finished. Uh, books on camera trapping are often highly technical. This one is not. The technical ones are written for wildlife biologists. The not-so-technical books are written for hunters. This book is written specifically for amateur naturalists, and it'll be a lot more fun to read. In closing, I want to thank the Natural History Survey the award sponsor, the nominating committee, and the survey's extended family for this very special recognition. As a humble token of my gratitude, I've assembled some recent camera trap clips, which I hope you find entertaining. Lastly, some parting advice for recreational nature photographers. Don't let mosquitoes, biting flies, and poison ivy keep you from the field. This is an activity that's aerobic, it's good for the spirit, and it's good for the economy. And above all, it'll make you smarter. And if you happen to live in bear country, be prepared, have a plan, and bring your bear spray. Just not a can like this. <laughs>
bobcat vaulted over a wide span of the creek and landed with room to spare. The same cat was ambivalent in the snow and decided to look elsewhere. You can hear her milling around in a decision dilemma. What to do? It looks close, but not close enough. She decides to hunt mousies elsewhere. If she had just walked down the bank, it wouldn't have looked so far. And that's exactly what she did on a cold, snowy night when she sailed across the creek like an Olympian. But the bravest of all was Bugsy, the black-tailed jackrabbit. He could have cleared that creek on the run, but he launched from a standing start. And he wasn't a wuss about getting wet feet. 